this demonstration, we are going to take a look at the repository upgrade, which was upgraded in 22.11. So here's a script I used to run and results in an error. No parent workspace name specified via minus nine. And that means minus nine, the parent workspace name, is now a required parameter. Okay, so let's provide that parameter. So calling the previous command line, adding minus nine. And I want to use main as the parent workspace because it's a test, it's a training environment, that should be fine. Running this results in another error. Main branch is not allowed. Please provide any other integration branch. Cannot continue. Okay, so it's not only that you have to specify a parent, it must not be main. So I have created an integration workspace here for the purpose of that demo called int underscore ru, repository upgrade. So now let's specify that name. It must be an integration workspace name that already exists. And now it's working. So this was a 22.10. Uh, so we run a very short repository upgrade, just applying the Delta to 22.11. Uh, we'll just come back when it's finished. So here it is. So it has done repository import, seed data import, and schema changes, if there were any. So we have an under that int ru workspace, we have the int siebel update. It's actually appending one because there already was one of that name. So it's quite uh, foolproof here. And underneath that, as usual, you have the repository upgrade proper. So that development workspace, which was used by the repository upgrade to import all the object definitions. And it has been delivered into, the par into its parent, int siebel update one but not yet delivered into that parent int ru that you provided. So we see uh, int ru is still empty because the child has not been delivered yet. So let's change that. Uh, first, we, before we deliver, let's take a look at the report. So that's the usual HTML report. And we see that this from 22.10 to 22.11 included several business component changes, business services, list of values record, uh, the new uh, test automation keyword in Rogress, the new responsibility for the product authoring super user. Um, you can run, probably create that manually too. So that red report just is a fine report. Everything went as planned, but you can, of course, check it out. So now we need to deliver that into this integration workspace. So we can actually test uh, the new features. Not that there are many, <laughs> but uh, we will be able to test it in our integration RU. So here I'm submitting the int siebel update one and delivering it into int ru, not main yet, because we want to be able to test it independently from whatever branches you have, main and any other branches. So that's the separation, the principle of separating the repository upgrade stuff. And that's enforced now. So that's the whole point of that feature. The repository upgrade now enforces using a separate int ru folder. The delivery already happened, so speeding this up here. So now we can establish an object manager using that workspace and it will load all the new features from Oracle and you can see if they work together well with your customizations or you can use the developer web client just as a reminder that still exists. So here in the UH and CFG, I'm entering the name of that int ru workspace which now contains the changes and well, here I'm already running the developer web client already launched. So 
Uh, we are really running on that int ru workspace now, doing our tests. The repository version is 22.11. And of course we can do some tests. There's not much to see in 22.11 if you come from 22.10, like we do here. So you, when you might have your own testing regime here. Uh, we just, maybe let's go for one of these business services that was updated. Uh, the Workspace Action Services got a little bit of an update. And uh, let's just see if the developer web client is able to see those services and methods in the business service simulator. We're not actually running anything, just proving a point here that the objects in that integration workspace are now, of course, usable. So here, the Workspace Actions and also the new Workspace Utility Service they are visible, and if you choose Workspace Action Service, you see a bunch of method names which were not there in previous releases. So the methods are now declared. We're not running anything, just proving the point. The repository upgrade has successfully inserted those objects into the int ru workspace. And now we can finish our testing, however long that takes. And this demo, of course, doesn't take long. And final step after testing is complete, deliver that int ru workspace into your main branch or any other parent that it has. So in our case, it's main to make the changes that Oracle provides us with 22.11 available in the main branch, which you will probably then uh, use the migration application to incrementally or uh, full deploy it to the test, to the real integration test and finally production environments. So that already happened, speeding things up here. Let's refresh one more time. So now repository upgrade 22.11 is applied to our main workspace. Thanks for watching this demo. Take care and bye-bye.